Greetings, brothers and sisters. I come to you in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It is the Sabbath day, the 31st of December, the last day of 2022. Um, it, is, it is 12, or five minutes after 12, midday. And the time and the date is the seventh day of Tevet, the, the year 5783 of the creation. Brothers and sisters, what has been, what has happened now in the last few days unfolding in Israel is biblical prophecy being unfolded or unveiled or unveiled yeah, before our very eyes. If you did not believe that the Bible is true or the only um, reliable source of, of information of our history of where man comes from, where the earth comes from, where the universe comes from, here's your proof. You've got to believe this. If you don't believe this, you are going to go down into the pits with the, the devil. You are going into the pits of hell with the devil. You've got to believe this. This is more and more proof. I just gonna um I just wanna finish off the previous teaching. So this um pool of Shiloham is as you know they discovered it in two thousand and four, and look I mean we are in twenty twenty two the end of the year, Christmas and or the end of the year the feast of Hanukkah, Christmas time, it's the end of the year, and it is two two thousand four that's six. 10, 16, that's 18 years, nearly 20 years that they knew about the spool and they never touched it, they never excavated. Why now? They just started on Christmas Day. They announced they are starting immediately and then yesterday they announced they are going to enlarge the spool. Why enlarge? Why make it bigger? Why are they editing or, you know, something is going on. So brothers and sisters, the rise of King Bibi um, King Hezekiah that, 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 that commissioned this, this, um, this pool. I just want to read you this where it comes from. 2 Kings chapter 20, verse 20. And the rest of the acts of Hezekiah and all his might and how he made a pool and a conduit and brought water into the city are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Judah. Now, brothers and sisters, I want to tell you something. This pool, the, the water, this he commissioned, Hezekiah commissioned this water to feed or to water the whole city. Right? And people came to wash here. Now, where this water comes from is very interesting. It comes from, I'm going to read it in the first, in, can you believe in Genesis 1? I'm going to be reading this. And the, the, in Genesis 2 verse 13, And the name of the second river is Gion. The same is it that compasses the whole land of Ethiopia. Now this water, that it comes from the second river, Gion. This is in the Garden of Eden. Now this is the water that fills, that still today is going into this um, pool of Shiloh. Brothers and sisters, isn't this an amazing time? You must get your hearts ready for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, what the Lord has been, you, you, I don't know if you noticed, I hope you guys were missing me because I was missing making the videos, but I was in a place with the Lord. He needed to take me to a place to prepare me for the new year. And the messages that he told me, uh, what was coming, you know, I asked him, you know, there's a lot of things that's been happening on the news. Ama uh, it's too much. I, I'm overwhelmed. Even in my um, with the visions, I'm overwhelmed with the amount of things that's happening. And uh, sometimes I, I'm like, okay, I just need a break from this is because this is a bit too much for me. Because I am, um, I still want to feel like a human being. <laughs> you know, I still want to feel normal like a human being. And this is too much knowledge. Too much knowledge. Now, brothers and sisters, when I see these things coming, I see a vision. And you know, now that since this channel, since the Lord, what the Lord has placed in me with this channel, um, with this uh, Jesus 20 Ministries, I 
kind of like, okay, I see what you're doing, Father. Uh, I'll do the work. But when I see what the Lord has told me, manifest in front of me, it's, 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 it kind of gets a, not too much, but it gets overwhelming. That's the word. Now, the brothers and sisters, um, the vision that I had with the minus 40 degrees frigid weather, but in this vision, I was standing, it looked like America, because I looked at the number plate, the number plates were white, and American cars have this short number plate, we have a long number plate, so it wasn't ours, and we have these bold letters that, there's only eight letter, eight, letter, eight characters in a number plate here, in a, the registration car plate, and in, in that vision of the minus 40, it was an American plate, because I saw all these, there's a state that it belongs to, there's this, all this. But I didn't focus on it like you glance past that, but I remember the size of the number plate. But um, my eye, the, the Lord wanted me to focus on that image on the bumper sticker, that gray circle. And he wanted me to focus on the minus 40 on the board, the electronic board. Minus 40, and he kept taking me to those two things and he explains what they are. And then when I saw now, I mean, what America's been experiencing in the last few days. Now, this vision came before hours or days before the, the bomb cyclone hit America. And I'm seeing this. And now uh, Japan, so brothers and sisters, the whole northern hemisphere is, is experiencing this minus 40. That's what God has been ministering to me. And why minus 40? Why did you want that? And when I walked past the television and I saw minus 40 on a board on, on the news report or something like that, I saw. And brothers and sisters, the, the chicken skin and the goosebumps and all that came in. I was like, Lord, you were showing me this minus 40. I couldn't feel it in the vision. I couldn't feel the minus 40 frigid, but I could see it's ice cold. You have never seen, I've never seen anything like it. I've never experienced snow, so I couldn't feel it in the, in, I couldn't feel cold. I was just watching this whole thing. Um, brothers and sisters, what's happening now, uh, remember I said about the icons, God is destroying idols and icons and all kinds of idolatry worship around the world. He is doing exactly that. Brothers and sisters, each day since I last made a video, there's every day some great icon or some Hollywood celebrity or some media personality has died. In fact, two died yesterday. I think the one is Barbara Walters. She's 96 or something, 93. And then there was another one, another famous one. And I was like, Father, you were saying that this idols and this icons, you were busy destroying this. Is this part of this, of the of this, idolatry? It for it, it sounds like idolatry because if you're on television, you become an idol. People worship you. You can't walk in the street. You're not safe. Like in the days of Jesus, when Jesus was healing when he was sending miracles upon people and healing miracles. People ran and they gathered in multitudes to kiss his feet and worship him. And we are seeing that in Hollywood idols today. They faint like Michael Jackson when he used to just appear and then people will faint. And this, they can't handle this because this is their gods. This is my God. So brothers and sisters, I just wanted to continue with that teaching. I'm running out of time. But I just wanted to, I got carried away. But um, John, the Pool of Shalom, chapter 9, finishes. And then I carried on reading. And here is chapter 10, John 10, verse 22. And it was at the Jerusalem, at Jerusalem, the feast of the dedication. And it was winter and Jesus walked in the temple of Solomon's porch. Brothers and sisters, this is happening now. This is the Feast of the Dedication, Hanukkah, the Pool of Shalom. So it's John chapter, John 9 and 10 is happening in 10, in the last 10 days. It's a, like a remake of John 9 and 10, but with a false mystery.